Yeah, do it down. Is one of is is the only Pakistani to ever get into Juilliard. Number one. Number two. There's there's only nine people per year, right? Who get accepted into the uh, Juilliard? Ah, okay, the nine people in. in the master's program. Yeah. All right, hey guys, we're back. We've got a really special guest, our first guest ever to actually have her own Wikipedia page, Sarah yeah. Heather. She's a <laughs> singer songwriter moving over to acting. She's at Juilliard, which is, if you don't know, like the like the coolest freaking school to be if you want to be an actor. So she's doing a lot for yeah. herself. And before we go any further, I'm gonna let guys. Sala I'm gonna be honest. Bit. I'm gonna be honest. We're recording this for the second fucking time. I can't fake this shit. We're <laughs> recording <laughs> this for the second fucking time. You <laughs> can't fake this shit. You can't fake this shit, man. <laughs> guys, we we lost our video file, so so we're gonna have to like, all right, you know, all right. pretend we as if we, we haven't talked about this shit before. The, so, the honesty, right? Nice. <laughs> yeah, we're all authentic. We're all we're real. <laughs> we keep, yeah, yeah. We keep it real, guys. We keep it real, guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah guys um, so guys before we even begin make sure to hit what, what happened the previous time <laughs> <laughs> I let them know. I let them know. But after, but first, I have to plug in the YouTube channel. Oh, huh. Guys, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. You know, it only takes two seconds. Do it for Sarah. Do it for Sarah. She's literally, you know, doing this for the second time with us. And yeah, there's apparently cops outside in New York. You know, you know, your guest is in New York when you hear cops in the background. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's going on? Oh my god. Dude, like, it's only when I speak to people from New York that I've never gone more than five minutes without without a bunch yeah. of cops in the background. Yeah. Like, uh, dude, our friend Mugis, he's in New York, and I game with him, and every day there's cops in the background. Straight up. It's like it's like the intro to, like, a music video. It's so bad. Yeah, guys, back to the topic at hand. Defund the police. Like and subscribe. Wait, it's like we have three different topic threads going on at the same time. Like and subscribe. Let me end with this plug. And then we can move on. So guys, guys, I have to explain to you what happened. So before, so we were almost 10 minutes in, into shooting our episode. We realized Sarah's phone wasn't recording. We use it. We use our guests' phones and everything to get an HD video for you guys. And guys, it's all her fault. If it feels like we, if it, if it looks like, oh my god, if, you if, can't if, if it looks like so we, right, it looks like we're like fine, you know. Guys, thank you so much. Thank you. For your time. <laughs> See ya, Sarah. 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 <laughs> I'll catch you later. I'll catch you later. I'll catch you later. I'm out too. See ya. I'm leaving. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Salman. Why are you leaving? You're, you're the, the one who offended her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay. But okay now i'm gonna ask you this for the third oh. time and you're probably gonna get the exact same response uh. but do you edit she's your not own actress, video do she's I, an actress yeah. she, can, she can pull it do, off do I, she can pull it off i can't my own wikipedia page no i i cannot you're not allowed to edit your own wikipedia page that wikipedia page was made um i'm pretty sure i know who made it because I did have a pretty committed stalker for a little while. He was very nice, but he knew oh, my home shit. address. It was a little, it was crazy. Hmm. He like, he knew where very I lived. Nice. He sent like a thing to my house. Like, it was, it was intense. Um, so I'm pretty sure that was, but, but very sweet, very nice. Oh. I just, you know, you that's what I told my mom. Was that in Karachi or in New York? Was that in was that in Karachi or in New York? Was that in Karachi or New York? Tha, it's okay. You know, like let's not get into specifics. They need to kind of kiss each other. Yeah, fuck. But I I will say thank you to whoever it was because uh, as as always, me and Sa didn't do our yeah. research. We tried. We did a bit, you know, but that that page <laughs> really came in clutch. Did it did. Up until the point where I forgot to tell Saw that you're now an actor. actress, yeah. And like, uh, yeah. like I said, yeah. actress, uh, my mother also just found out, so you're fine. <laughs> like, it's okay. Take yeah. your time. <laughs> but guys, but guys, there, there's one, there, there's one thing we want to make clear. Um, none of that information is right on Wikipedia. Like, none of it. So what the when? when the, I mean, okay, no, no, not like none, none of, of it. it. Like, how much of it is I right? I don't, like, like, how much of it is right? Seventy-three percent. I don't know. Like, <laughs> made that up. Like 70, 73 and 73.5. That's an odd number. Did you calculate? <laughs> <laughs> you asked how much? What's the answer to that question? Well, it no longer says I'm not you were born, born in Texas. 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 So that's good, right? I was born in Karachi, <laughs> Pakistan. Um, I exactly went to Zavis, not. And um, I went to KGS. 
and yeah. I, uh, I, I, yeah. I went to Napa for like a month. Um, and Napa, what's Napa? The National Association of Performing that, that Arts. It's a, I don't know, is that a, is that a <laughs> state in Italy? It's uh, a music I don't know what Napa is. in Karachi. Um, <laughs> and what else? <laughs> <laughs> so man, I like how, I like how we're so fucking unprepared. We do not know shit. So Sarah's literally gonna have to. Okay, let's, let's, Sarah's literally it's gonna okay, have to. Like, it's okay. It's okay. It just adds to the casualness of the vibe, you know. <laughs> oh, is my voice lagging? Oh, it is. I think my yeah, voice. I mean, a little bit. It it, it, it lags. It lags. It it's fine. It's, it's, okay. like it's not the worst okay. thing on the planet. So. Guys, we're now we're entering the segment called the flex segment. I'm not going to make it as dramatic as before because I've already done it once. J- Sarah is, S- yeah, totally Sarah is one of is, is the only Pakistani to ever get into Juilliard. Number one. Number two, there's there's only nine people per year, right? Who get accepted into the uh, Juilliard. Into okay, the nine people in. in the master's program. Yeah. For like the program. For like the program. Sorry, in the, ma- in the master's. That's, that's, that's MFA, like MFA, master's. In- yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, Which is, is crazy. crazy. For my undergrad, Do I you... had like 500 people. Yeah. And... Like at like, I had an easy 500 people. I don't think I bothered getting to know any of them, but I imagine if you have like nine people in your I program. Could, yeah. So like, it's nine. You it's just nine have to know all of them. And it's a four year program. So I could spend every semester <sighs> getting to know just two people. <laughs> And I would still be best friends with my whole class but that by the is end insane. of the day. <laughs> it's like you could get to know their families, their traumas, <laughs> their Imagine past, I have, their everything. I have like four months to get oh to God. four months per person, or no, not two months, like two months per person. I have two months that I could spend on each person. That's a lot of time. It is. It is. We already know each other really, really. That's well. a lot of time to time. hone in on one person. Yeah, you man, you spend. A so much time. Dude, I forget at least nine people every semester. Since you guys like such a, since you guys are like such a small community and everything, right? Do you guys um spend all your free time together, or do you guys go to like lunch dates together, or like do you guys do you guys want to like get away from each other? What's the scene? We don't have free time. <laughs> like none. Mm. Like none. <laughs> like, mm. like really, like dude. I can't tell. Like the schedule. Yeah. Is. 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. six days a week. 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Yo, dude, that is straight up fucking entrepreneurial. Like, th- those are CEO hours. 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Are you gonna be like a. You could literally become a doctor, and I think you'd spend less hours. Like, about the same no, amount less of hours. time. That's, that's no, I, I feel. I feel like you spend you spend less, less time getting getting I wouldn't know. Doctor, yeah, but it's four years, right? But anyway, damn. Oh so if you don't god, like someone, yeah. you're stuck with them. Oh my god, that's yeah. it, right? Yeah. For four entire years. Yeah, you're stuck with them. Oh my god. It just doesn't. Yeah. We will, guys, guys, you yeah. will never know the beef that Sarah told us that she's had with people. You will never know. It's, it's between, it's between, oh, it's yeah, between it's, us, it's all, all affair. It's between us and Sarah. The world the will, will never, know. never know. No, I, I, <laughs> The shit I, that she's told us. What, what happens in the, in the crew, you know, stays, stays in the, but like I was saying, like, yeah, everybody, everybody knows each other's business. I, I like, I like, I like how you're. I, I like I like how your voice like trembled when you said crew because you couldn't even fucking say it. <laughs> yeah. I, I think that Shit, was a man. computer effect. But like yeah, sorry, you were telling us earlier on before. Huh. I think the crew thing was a computer effect. So no, like maybe. Sorry. Okay. Really? We'll uh-huh. find we'll find out when we're editing this. So, Sarah, you told us you you told right. us that going to Juilliard is like being around a desi auntie because they know everything about yeah. you. Yeah. Like you, like you made that connection. So like reiterate that before we lost everything. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Um, so I was, I say this to everybody, um, which, which I find really interesting. Cause like, like I said, like I went to Zabist and I went to this other training that the American Academy and Zabist, there was like thousands yeah. of people in the graduating yeah. class, American Academy, there was 137 people in the graduating class. This is like, yeah. if nine people, like when somebody gets a haircut, it's a really big deal in the school. Everybody knows you got a haircut. People yeah. tell each other that, oh my God, dude, like, 
a fucking Marion got a haircut. And they're gonna this be like, oh my god, I saw Marion's haircut. They know when you have new clothes because oh they've seen god. all your clothes. So if you wear something new, wow. like, that's new, oh isn't it? Oh my god. And it is. It's kind of like being a <laughs> especially if you spend or like es- being in a Desi family because, like, the teachers yeah, yeah. will know if you forget if you're like, you know, they'll know if you like a boy. Like if you like a boy or somebody likes a girl, or wow. there's some kind of like mm, you know wow. like chakkar happening. I feel like that gets really complicated. Like the aunties I feel like that gets really complicated. That, that gets does that gets complicated. complicated. It's really crazy. Are you guys like, really close to your teachers since you spend so many hours with them? Yeah, yeah, we spend like. Are you guys close to your teachers? We are. Um, like like friendship. I wouldn't say like they're just uh, our teachers are quite like not a whole lot of them are like in their. 20s or 30s they're like in their 50s and 60s and 70s like mm. we have this one teacher makes sense we have this mm. one teacher Moni Yakim, mm. who has been there since the beginning of this school mm. so he's one of the people that actually started this program wow. which means that <laughs> he has taught Viola Davis and he has taught Robin Williams and he has taught like all these guys like yeah oh, he's wow. like he has been their teacher and he's teaching us and this man is like in his 80s and he's not he's not like he doesn't sit in a chair he's not like an acting teacher he's a movement teacher he teaches you body things so he'll make you like do a push-up you know like a push-up but except that you know when you're low in the push-up yeah stay there for 20 minutes it's just like it's insane amount of like like strength training it's very it's like physically it's wow. it's insanely physically demanding i've never in any singing thing i've done it's always been like a lot of vocal training six hours seven yeah. hours but this is like push-ups and boot camp and squats and literally like you know that thing where you like tick, 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 like you're stepping really fast yeah they do that on yeah. the yeah, drills like, yeah, yeah that's 9 a.m do you have, i'm assuming <laughs> I'm 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 assuming you have like insane stamina then like I'm oh, sure yeah. you can run like a fucking marathon. But it's because like if Shit. you see it, huh? Okay, I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna say something that's gonna sound like pretty goddamn rude, but like, are you ever like concerned? Because like I had this one professor who was really old right now. I was taking this class with a friend, and at least once a week, mid class, we were in different like we'd sit different parts of the classroom. I get a text saying, hey man, I'm really worried about this guy. He looks really old today. Dude! No, Loki, like the like, Corona thing, that's why. It was, like, it was stressful. Just like, you know, they're just. Oh, yeah, especially they're, they're now. Old. Like, they could, they could die. Like, that could, that could legit happen. And I care about them a yeah. lot, you know, but also, like. Yeah. Like, but also, like, you're my teacher. Like, are you gonna. Am I gonna have a new teacher? Like, what's gonna? It's horrible. It's really horrible. Mm. But like, yeah, yeah. yeah no, really... it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. It's okay, crazy. so man, I think we should transition into the singing part. We've talked about Juilliard. Take care. The yeah. Singing. Okay. Because I mean, that's that's honestly that's how. Yeah. What a. Yeah. Yeah. That's how you yeah. you made your mark, right? So, you somehow ended up. Somehow, by some twist of fate accident, yes, I totally ended up on Coke Studio. How does it happen that you end up on Coke Studio? How does it happen that you end up on Coke Studio? (gasps) Man, I would say every success I've had in my life is because of community. Not not my community, but like musician community. Like, um, I basically Mm -hmm. ended up on Coke Studio Mm -hmm. because I used to teach at a school for a year of my life and so because I used to teach at that school mm-hmm. I got to know this man who um, became my like mentor and guru and teacher his name is Essen Bari and he fucking trained the shit out of me um, and it was an insane amount of time mm-hmm. it was like three years and then because of him uh, wow. kind of through him a little bit I auditioned for Lida but and I got a really small part in her play. And because of that, somebody was in the audience who was like, we need a backing vocalist because Ruhel Hayat is gone and strings are taking over. And so I auditioned for that. 
and then mm. after doing that for two years strings mm. were like we need some chick to sing with Aliza for and I'm like I'll audition and you know it literally it just it was such a slow such a slow build by the time I did Edil I must have done 200 live yeah. shows wow and that was Wow. wow! Yeah, yeah, so, shit. And so so, 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 think, so, so, so I think, so I think, so I think, so I think the lesson is, so I think, so I think the lesson there is before we even start to talk about our growth, we should do at least two hundred fucking episodes of this show before we even start to think about where where we're going. So I, I, that's a really humbling lesson. To two hundred live shows, that is a lot of time, preparation, a lot of hours. Behind yeah, the mic you're not you're not gonna do it unless you're like obsessively I, in love with it, you know. Unless you're like, I love you when I'm singing. Of course. Of course. At, in my in you know in my yeah. bedroom, I love you when I'm singing. Uh, at uh, Eid Milad un Nabi party for uh, school, I yeah. love you when I'm singing in yeah. Hunza for the Aachen and higher secondary schools. I I love you when I'm singing on Coke Studio. I love you when I'm singing yeah. in Australia. Like. It doesn't matter. Wow. You, just, you have to love the thing. The thing. That is Sorry. really cool. <laughs> This is very mad much props. like... Mad props. I mean, okay, yeah, mad definitely. props. There's... That, that's some god But also that whole here. story about getting a mentor. I'm just picturing like... Oh, like yo. Have you, like have you seen Essen, and buddy? It's just like... <laughs> <laughs> nah. Uh, he has a band See, that's like no, really no, big. I, and they've been I'm on Coke Studio as well. I don't know anything. What are they called? Uh, I've heard that name before. I've heard that name Definitely, before. I've heard yeah. that name before. Okay, I'm, I'm going to pretend I've heard of it. Yeah. It's, it's is basically uh, one of... It's the only oh, thing wait, of no, its I kind. It's song. basically yes. like this man, Essen Bari, he comes from yeah. absolutely no musical background, has no connections, no... You know, there's no nepotism there at all. Mm -hmm. He has a master's yeah. in physics. Um, but yeah. he taught himself jazz, like classical jazz music. He learned Eastern classical music with Nafisa Ahmed at Napa. And at this point in his life, like I, I don't, yeah. I, I've never even here, even in New York City, I've never met anybody who has the kind of musical understanding and acumen and talent that he does. And so he created Sounds of Kalachi. Wow. And man, you guys, if wow. you ever get to see a Sounds of Kalachi live show, it's like there are thirty-five people on stage. He has like nine backing vocals. He like he, it's like Coke Studio on crack. It's unbelievable. He has got like sarangis and like violins and a cello, and he does Eastern classical singing, amazing. but also plays all original compositions. Yo, Sarah, it's amazing. Sa Sarah, by the end of this, we're gonna ask you like a list of people who we should see live, and Salman and I are gonna go there. And yeah. hopefully Salman understands oh half the music. I have so many people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, of course, I don't music, understand the you music. Guys, there's so much. There's honestly, yeah. it's like. Oh, but like during this time the one oh, I'm sure I'm good sure thing I will say about quarantine is that I've gotten to like re-listen yeah. to so much old stuff that I used to like be obsessed with it's been so fun wow dude I, li I like I like do you know do you know nice. what I like about I... Do you know what I like about that entire story is the way that you've told it you were so passionate about it you <laughs> can tell there's a lot of passion behind your craft you were so like like your energy <laughs> levels, I I know I notice a lot of I, I notice the energy in a person. Your energy levels went up by like two notches when you started talking about music. Okay. So so that straight up shows you where you come from, what you feel about it, and there's a reason why why you where you are today. And I am and I couldn't be more impressed. Wow. That is um, intense. Thank you, guys. Yeah, that, Thanks, Sad. I can only hope to have that kind of energy. Come on, come on, get life. her to the coffee, man. Oh, what? you guys are so sweet. Come on, get her to the coffee. Cute, thank you. Yeah. Aww, that's so nice. Yeah, I, I, I know, I, I know we get super, I know we get super intense on this I know, I was like, I don't even know what to say to that. I'm like, so sad, <laughs> man, I, I really, we're, really we're like real, your man. haircut. And your headphones are really nice. And you're such a pure, like. I don't, you know, I, I, I don't know if she's, I, I don't know, if, I don't know if she's buttering, I don't know if she's buttering me up, but no, such a, straight up, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. And you guys ask such an in, intelligent questions <laughs> and you're so like, Thanks. good at, at owning your truth, like. You you didn't know, but now you know. And thank like you. You're, thank you. You're like thank you willing so to like be surprised and 
Dude, this is all getting to Saad's head no, right now. No, my, actually, no, I mean, on, on a serious <laughs> note, my teacher says this all the time, which I think about all the time, because he's like, real listening allows for the possibility of being changed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. That mm. is intense. That's that's like that's the type of deep stuff that just sell sense chills down your spine. I love deep stuff. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go to. That's it's the type of thing you'll remember like in said, the middle of the night and then just feel like, oh my that's god, the yes. That's for this podcast is I love deep stuff. It's just on the T-shirt. So cool. we're gonna talk about the style awards real quick. <laughs> the style Re- real quick. awards. We've got two minutes to talk about the style awards. Yes, I sang yes. the style awards. That was really fun. How do you how do you get an award? How, like I've never gotten an award. No one's ever told me I should get an award. Uh, how do you get you know, an award? That's all um, I want to know. I don't know. It's always it's always a really massive surprise, and it's always like when I think I'm gonna get it, I never get it, and when I think there's no way I'm gonna get this, I get it. Mm. That's my that's my thing. Oh. I think it just mm. it's always just like like these awards also. The awards are very like the awards and things like Oak Studio and things like that. Like, yes, you can work your way there, but a lot of times you're gonna see people who know people, you know, or look good. That's like, fair. Oh, we give this award to this person. Yeah, huh, there's of a lot course. of controversy so about the yeah, yeah, Oscars, yeah. Um, the things like the Grammys, oh, of course. Like, all of these big awards going to people who don't, who aren't really like the best. Um. But Best. yeah, like it's I, I like, like so the, I mean, the awards. I would say don't take them too seriously, ever, 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 ever. So what I'm getting from that is that if I want an award, I really shouldn't like you know try and get an award. So I'm just gonna not try and get yeah, an award. Yeah, I'll, no, I'll let you know if that works. Because, you know, honestly, you're yeah. gonna you're gonna get an award when you don't need it. Guys, I'm going to go a complete different route. I'm, I'm going to practice receiving my 100k <laughs> subs award right now. All right, guys. On that note, guys, thank we're you out. so much for this we're award. Out. Guys, thank you so much for this for this award. We're done. We've got the great Sarah Heather, <laughs> <laughs> and we're done with this one. Peace. Adios. Goodbye. <laughs>